Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, I thought it was about time I brought you this piece of content. What we are here today to look at is the first Garmin Instinct Solar Edition. Now, the main reason that I put the first on there is, hopefully you, some of you may have seen that recently the, uh, the, Sol, uh, sorry, the Garmin Instinct 2 has just been released. So there's a few upgrades, well actually there's quite a few upgrades from the original version to the newer version. But part of me still thinks, well, you know, I've, I've owned this and there is a lot of amazing content out there. There definitely is. I definitely recommend, once you've finished this, check out DC Rainmaker. Now the content that he's made on this is God level content. So definitely check his out and he goes into a lot of detail. So what I thought would do is to bring you more of a, a quick overview of the original watch, the Garmin Instinct Solar. And also to think, is it still relevant? Is it still worth it? The answer really is yes. There's some absolutely amazing deals out there at this current moment in time for the Garmin Instinct Solar. I keep struggling with trying to put those two words together. Um, so what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so that we can have a quicker look at this whilst I'm doing that. If at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like, subscribe and share. It certainly means a lot to my channel so I can see what type of content you enjoy watching. Um, and if you do choose to do that, I would definitely like to thank you at this point and say thank you for liking this and sharing and, and subscribing. It, it certainly means a lot to me as well. Uh, but for now, let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at the Garmin Instinct Solar. I got it, yeah, kind of got it right that time. So here we have the Instinct Solar. Now, there are a few different versions of this. There is the, um, the Instinct, which doesn't have any solar. There is the Instinct Solar, which has solar recharging on there. There is also some specialist versions as well. There's a tactical version, uh, and there's a the wave kind of surfing version, which has some additional features on there. The difference between the Solar Edition and the non-Solar Edition is literally just solar. There, there's, there's no other features on there that, that differentiate the two. Now, initially from the looks, hopefully you can see that it has a very kind of G-Shock aesthetic to it. Um, and a lot of the features on here, or at least a lot of the materials, they really do resemble some of those G-Shock kind of looks to it. Um, as far as the construction here, uh, the, the, the vast majority of the case is made from a fibre reinforced polymer uh, and the strap is made from a really nice silicon strap which we'll, we will have a look at at the moment. As far as colours, this is available in, god there's probably 20 or 30 different variants of different colours. This is the carbon version, there is an all black version. The carbon version here, so round the outside, um, it's, it, it's kind of a, a, a grey sort of colour. Hopefully you'll be able to see it here in the sun. Uh, but the, the, the inlay, I suppose you could call it, uh, in, in the bezel is, is a black colour. You tend to find with a lot of them, black seems to be the uh, almost the highlight or the subdued light version that, that's in there. I think even the one that is is or is yellow. Uh, all of the all of the bits and the cases around here is yellow, but all of the the buttons and then the inlay um, is black on there as well. The screen on this is incredibly easy to see. So. If I turn this so that we go in and out of the light, I'll even see if I can poke it at the sun. Um, it's still very easy to read during the day. Um, the screen itself comes in at 2.3 mm, uh, sorry, 23 millimeters by 23 millimeters. Um, and the resolution of the screen, or at least um, the, the, the pixels on there, it's 128 pixels by 128 pixels. The bump on the newer version goes up to 178 by 178. So, you know, okay, it's got a little bit more fidelity on there. However, when I look at this, I certainly don't look at this and think, wow, I really wish I'd got some more pixels to, to make it a little bit crisper. It certainly is a very handsome and, and easy to read watch. You can completely customize this as well. So as far as the screen is concerned, it, it's almost cut up into a few different um, 
planes or phases or, or certainly different sections. So there is this section up here that is spherical. It's actually all part of the same display. They, they've just been able to cut this section off uh, and use this part here to be able to differentiate the different sections. But there's data that can be showed here, there's data that can be showed in this section, there's data across here, and then there's data across here. If you wanted to, you completely completely turn this so that it looks more like an analog watch as well, which we can we can have a look quickly as well. Now I have mentioned, so this is the, the, the solar edition. If I can get this in the light just right, let's see if I can. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there is a ring around here which goes through there so this is where the how do they put how do they the the photovoltaic uh, membrane that's within this in the inside so all of the light that hits this 100 percent of the light that hits this is then converted into electricity to recharge the battery then what they also have is they also have a second membrane and that's behind the actual watch face itself so where it's darker in here there is a there is a photovoltaic um, uh, membrane behind that and what that does is that transfers 10% of the light that hits the watch face and, and, and is able to, uh, to, to turn that into electricity now the main difference between this version and the old uh, and the and, and the newer version mainly is how that uh, membrane works and also the membrane behind this one as well to to be able to use more of that light but um, Garmin say that in its smart watch function you can get up to 14 days of battery out of this which is still exceptionally good when you compare it to some other smart watches that are out there considering you can only get one or two days out of this. A lot of the smartwatch features on here I, I genuinely I mean I generally I, I have actually turned off. I use this mainly for telling the time and a little bit more of a fitness tracker rather than you know I want it to tell me that I've got a new email or a new text message or somebody is calling. I like a watch generally to be a watch. Now as far as the watch uh, works, so there is, uh, there's three buttons down this side, there is two buttons down this side. Um, these two, when you're on the main face here, these two switch between the widgets that you have. And you can add more widgets or you can take widgets off. So at the moment, um, if I use this bottom button, I've got uh, an ABC. ABC stands for altimeter, barometer and compass. So on here, I can see um, all of those three different metrics. I also have um, the altimeter on as well, which I could probably turn this off considering I, I have it on the on the previous screen. You can also go into uh, into these a little bit more. So uh, by pressing this button here, you can then go into additional information if, if you choose to. Um, this button gives you more information about each of the widgets. And then the button down here uh, in the bottom right allows you to go back to, to the main widget face. Uh, so there I have the altimeter. Uh, here I have my uh, heart rate and then I have sunset and sunrise which I, I find is quite useful and then and then twilight hours if I if I want to then uh, be able to you know do some filming while I'm out as I'm going through these you can see how nice and crisp this screen is is this still a great watch to use in 2022 I'm probably going to keep saying this a lot mainly because this is what this content's about and it definitely shows that it's still a great watch uh, footsteps uh, I got up and came straight here uh, there's no data as far as previous job uh, what that's been going on uh, here is my day again you can press this button and go into further information that's on there but I, I took a lot of the information off uh, and then we get onto solar activity so now that I've been out in the sun, I've been sat, this has been when I've been at home over the last six hours, but being out in the sun here now, you can see that I'm getting a lot of this solar charging on my phone. Now, what I believe what they say is if you can get three hours of uh, solar charging at its peak here, then that will give you an extra day's worth of battery. What I've been finding, uh, hopefully I think I've already mentioned this, is I'm, I turn off a lot of the smartwatch kind of features. I don't want text messages, but I do want this to track me when I'm running, when I'm going to the gym. So each week I run three times a week. I go to the gym twice a week. 
sometimes three times. And then the weekends, I'll probably go out and do a couple of long walks with my family. So while I'm tracking all of that, with the GPS on, heart rate monitor, and all of that sort of stuff, I'm still getting two weeks worth of charge out of this. In the winter, it's darker, so I've not been getting as much solar activity or intensity from this. Now that it's the summer and there's a lot more sun, I'm certainly getting more from this. Uh, but again, you know, you can cycle through. Another quick access that you can do is if you hold on to the control button here, you can then go onto any of these quick settings. So if you want to change your backlight, do not disturb, you want to lock something, uh, you can go into any of these, you know, different time zones. Or if you want to go into the music controls, uh, you can do the same through all of this as well. The menu button here, this allows you to go into the options uh, and then again this is kind of back this is this is always back from wherever you are um, but this is your main activity button so I click on this I'm going for a run or I'm going on a trail run or I'm going for a hike there are lots of different additional ones that you can add to this if you choose to Th these are the main three that I tend to do um, so they're the quick access ones that I've got programmed on here you can then start it um, and then, you know, if I'd have pressed that again, it would have started it to stop it. In fact, let's do it. Okay, so I'm going for a run, start it, and it stops that. That will then track all of the different metrics that I want it to track. You can also update those as well. Uh, but for now, let's stop that. And it will come back with a, um, just like a, you know, brilliant. You went running for nine seconds. Um, I'm certainly not going to save that. Let's, let's discard that for now. Yes, I definitely want to discard that. But you can change all of those and you can, you can add to those as well. And that's all done through the menu option here. So first one that's on there is your different watch faces. So as I mentioned, all of these different components can be changed. So to start off with, you can, you can go through all of the different watch faces that are available. And here are some um, that are pre-installed from Garmin. One of the additions with the Garmin 2 is that it now has the IQ Connect feature, which is Garmin's web store, let's call it. So if you wanted to go into their store and download some new faces, then you can do that. Personally, I find that the options that are in here are, are fine. But again, so as I mentioned before, you know, for every negative display, there is also a positive display option and you'll be able to see that, you know, they're, they're, they're all on there. But if you did want to change some of the features on here, then you can click on that and then you can go to customize. So let's say you wanted that to be your heart rate here in the top right hand corner, then you can change that. Or maybe in the top left hand corner here, you wanted to change what option was on there as well. Again, you can totally do this and you can customize it to your heart's content. Also here down in the bottom, so battery, that little indicator, you can change that to something else. Maybe you want that to be your steps. Then I've got the sunset here. You could change that so that could be your heart rate. You know, you can completely customize this. So no, I don't want to save that. Um, then as far as the rest of the settings, in fact, uh, oh, actually history on here, you can have a look at all of the different activities that you've been doing. So here you can see here are all of the runs that I've done or when I've been to the gym, um, all the way back, you know, it's, there's, it stores, it stores a lot on here all the way back to November. Um, I think it does go back. I, I got this in October. Um, but as far as your settings are concerned, here in the settings, uh, you, I had those app activities. So here is the fact, you know, I, I run, I trail run or I hike. But if I wanted to add to those, so I could go all the way through these different ones. Oops, sorry. And then there are all these additional ones, a treadmill, indoor track. There are lots of different activities. You can go into each of these as well and then customize each of the different faces that you wanted to use for those. Again, the, the jump up to the next version, the, the Instinct 2, it just adds additional ones to these. So if you're on the treadmill, are you gonna do a treadmill inclines? Are you gonna do treadmill declines? Are you gonna do treadmill multi runs? It gives a little bit more options. So if you are super into your different metrics on your runs or different metrics on your activities that you do, you want further customization, maybe that's the, the jump up that you can get for this. 
If you're an everyday kind of, I want to use this for fitness tracking, you know, whilst I'm out and about, then it certainly does a great job. Now, not just an adequate job, it does a great job and is still definitely worth it here in 2022. Now, that, they were the, the, the activities that you use using uh, this one up there, but for mainly for those widgets, and these were the ones that we, uh, we accessed through these two options. So at the moment here, you can see these are all the ones that I have set, but you can add to these as well. So last sport, last run, last ride, last swim floors climbed it will measure your incline and decline through the day your stress calories intensity minutes you've got an option on there for your body battery so what it will do is it will score that out of 10 depending on how much activity you've done and how much sleep you have music control moon faces barometer temperature dog tracking uh, the verb which i believe is one of the additional um what is that? I think that's the camera that you can also get with these. So much more, your notifications, calendar, a lot of those will go directly from the connection to your watch, weather, alternate time zones, and so much more you can add to this as well. Now, if you're happy with all of those, then this is still perfect in 2022. Now the, the Connect IQ option that comes with the, with the Instinct 2, you can then download third party apps and widgets that you can attach to this, which will then easier connect to uh, other third party uh, things that you can have installed. Again, if you're not using those, it's still perfect in 2022. Controls goes through, um, different options as far as battery saving and and, and, the, and the light behind there as well watch faces sensors you can add additional sensors to this so if you have one of those ant plus uh, chest monitors you can add to those you can additionally add a maps to this so if you're going to go on a run or a walk that you want to plot a map and it will give you notifications on you know you need to go to here and then turn left or it's more like you know you're about 100 points uh, 100 meters away from your next waypoint where you need to go easterly kind of direction uh, phone which gives more information as far as um you know, like notifications and that sort of thing, but a lot of that sort of stuff I have turned off. User profiles, activity tracking, you know, there is a lot to do on here. One of the main things, especially if you're concerned about uh, battery life on here, is that it now has uh, a power manager on here. So when you're in here, you have two options. First one is uh, battery, uh, battery saver. So turning this on, at this moment in time, I've got 16 days worth of battery in here. But if I turn this on, I can get up to 40 days. But what this does is it turns off a lot of the different things that you've got on here. So on the back, hopefully you'll be able to see, here is the heart rate sensor. And also the charger, it does come with a proprietary charger. However, and it's a good thing about this one is that there are a lot of third party chargers for these that are a lot cheaper than the, um, than the, than the main charger that you can get um, from uh, from Garmin um, but you can see it scales back a lot of the information here on the screen and then when you go through some of these widgets some of the widgets stay on some of the widgets there you go because the horror monitors turned off um, the vo2 kind of stuff it's turned off because the battery saver is on there um, so it, it does pair back a lot of the functions um, but that I mean if if it oops sorry if it is that you are using um, you know you are concerned about your battery life maybe you're going on a walk maybe you're doing something that's important that you do save some of those then you can do that and you can you can add those on there um, you can also edit that as well so you can say no actually i want my bluetooth to stay in i want the battery oh, the, the connectivity um, and it will give you a, a, a bit of an, a, an information about how much time that will save you as well plus you also have these different power modes so rather than going into full on power saver or battery saver then you can decide which powers and power modes that you have on so the ultra track on here if it is that you're an ultra marathon marathon kind of runner where you're, you're running for two or three days ultra track on this will give you up to 40 hours worth of uh, gps tracking what it does is rather than tracking yourself 
com uh, you know, continuously. Um, instead, it sets certain waypoints or it, it only will track you every certain time interval, um, which it does reduce um, the accuracy of it. But I, I think when you're running for that, those sort of distances, you, it, it's something that you, that you certainly will accept. The, the second one that's on here is jacket mode. So let's say you have this on over a jacket and it, you, you don't need the heart rate monitor on the back, then it will, it will turn off some of those features. Um, or you can completely set up your own mode. So here at the moment, I've, I've named this Moorlander, but you can come in and you can, you can decide on how your GPS works, on how your phone, heart rate monitor, all of this sort of stuff. Now, if I go into here, by turning it off, you'll see it gives me an additional two hours if I did choose to turn the heart rate monitor off. If I decided to look at my display, having it so that it, it has a timed display and you have to press a button to turn it on can give me an additional two hours as well. So you can really kind of drill down into those power battery modes on how you want to use those so that you can you can save some time so again you know there's a lot of functionality within this watch it's it is a few years old but it's definitely not showing its age and i think compared to the instinct 2 it's certainly relevant here in 2022 now just to show some additional functions and, and i know i've already i've already looked looked on here but there is uh the, the the heart rate monitor on the back which certainly does a lot there's some additional information in on here as well so you can see it is water resistant down to 100 meters so if you're using this uh, for fitness tracking or you're going swimming with this or maybe shallow diving maybe some scuba diving then you can definitely use this it's certainly good for that one of the massive um, features on here that I really like is this strap all of these straps are customizable so it has the pins in here that you can take out it takes a 22 millimeter lug strap you can take it off this the Instinct 2, I believe, comes with quick release straps. This one doesn't, but you can, if you go onto the Garmin store, maybe I'll leave some links here to additional straps that you can get from this. You can get additional straps that you can take off that will go in. I quite like this one, mainly because, one, it has a lot of different notches. So I find that my wrist swells uh, and contracts a lot during the day, whether I'm hot, whether I'm, whether I'm in activities. Certain activities, I want to keep it a little bit closer to my wrist to make sure that I get full advantage of that sensor um, but the also additional feature on here is if I give this a bit of a stretch hopefully you'll be able to see that it, it does have a little bit of spring spring yes it has some spring um, on both sides so if you're doing activities that you're concerned generally that with it with a very static uh, especially one like here on a g-shock a very static uh, strap then you definitely don't have to worry about any sort of flex that you that you'll have when you when you're putting pressure uh, on your wrist it does also come with uh, an app that complements all of the features on here so we'll just have a quick look at the app to see some of the metrics that you can get off of it now I must apologize because there is a lot of glare out here. So I'm gonna try and get this at such an angle that it just makes it a little bit easier to read. I might just have to move my phone up and down a little bit. So this this is the this is the main screen on here, and there's there's plenty of details that you can get. So once it once it connects, now at this moment in time, because it's not on my wrist, it's it's not taking any information. Um, but you can see on here as far, it gives you uh, your battery body, it gives you your stress. Um, steps calories how what sleep i get the sleep tracker on this is, is a reasonably good sleep tracker i've compared this uh, to my wife's fitbit i've also compared it to the sleep tracking um, on my garmin phoenix as well and yeah it, it you know it, it does a reasonably good job at tracking that i was going to say through the day then but you know i wish i could sleep during the day uh, and then as you know there's additional metrics here at the bottom as well and each each of these you can completely click on each of these so it will tell you uh, as far as your calories that you've burned you can see here obviously you can see the days that i've that i've been on runs um, as far as activities are concerned um, so let's say here down here on calendar you can go into he here and see how this works for each day so here on wednesday uh, there there's all of my different activities um, and here you can see i went for a run so this gives you further information on that um, it gives you a little map of where I ran, 
um, and then on each of these you can then swipe across to get additional information now whether hopefully you can hopefully you can see that um, but it just gives you different metrics on your pace your cadence um, whether you're going uphill what the inclination was how your heart rate was you can also compare some of these so if you're wanting to check out how your heart rate does whilst you're running up on an incline you can compare and contrast quite a bit of these as well now I'm not going into this too much but there's also you can go into the options so that you can change out some of those metrics as far as the different activities you do whether you've got certain gear or certain additional monitors that you want to attach um, contact so you can you can set up groups as well if you you and your friends have a, a healthy rivalry between you when you when you're doing certain runs but then you can also go into the actual the, the the watch itself or the apps that are connected to your watch in there so that you can add to those or maybe if there is certain information about yourself then you can put in things like um, you know your height your weight your age um, all of those certain metrics as well um, and then also on here you can decide whether or not you want to give it permissions to go into your phone so that you can you can receive text messages and all, all of those sort of things as well for me, I'm glad I did pay the extra to go from the normal instinct to the solar instinct. I think through the winter, as I've been testing it out, you know, you don't get that much through the winter, mainly because, you know, the light intensity through the winter, the, the you know, the hours, days are shorter. Coming into the summer now and the spring, I can certainly see the additional value that you get from this from the solar intensity that I'm getting just now having this out this is charging as we speak so I've found that the two weeks that I'm getting from it, it it's adding to that and it's getting more and more the more that I use this and the more that I'm out and the more the fact that I'm wearing short sleeves while I'm, I'm out as well However, if you did want to save a little bit more, then you can save a little bit more and just go for the normal version. Now, in the box, although I haven't looked in the box, you get your normal instructions and that, that kind of thing and you get a charge with it as well. But definitely make sure you check out some third party chargers because they're a lot cheaper and do exactly the same job. The connector that goes into this goes in at one, it, you know, it goes in straight, but you can get some 90 degree chargers so that you can you can put this down a little bit easier you certainly can't charge it whilst you're wearing it through the back the main charge for the solar version comes in because you know it's it's charging now from from the rays of the sun i don't really think there's much more to say about this other than that if you are considering the instinct 2 then definitely don't discount the og instinct have a look at the features on the Instinct 2, which there are a wide range of. Probably 70% of those features you can still get on this. If you can save some money, I know times are certainly trying at the moment. If you can save some money, then definitely don't discount the OG. Um, yeah, so there you go. I, I generally like this watch. The one thing that I forgot to say is, and this is a big thing, and it's been a big thing for me, if you buy a watch like this and you're a watch person be prepared not to wear your other watches as often and that's one thing that i always say with this and it's one thing that i had with my with my phoenix and that's the fact that when i've got this on because it's tracking my sleep because it's tracking my fitness because it's tracking lots of other things it kind of forces me to continue to wear this and I've got lots of other watches sat in a drawer that I'm not wearing as often because there's more of a, there's more of a kind of a, I feel like I should continue to wear this watch. And that's one of the things that you kind of have to accept with a watch like this. And it's a shame just to have this to put in a drawer so that when you go for a run, you just put this on. There's lots of other less expensive watches out there to use instead of that this just for fitness tracking um, but it is one thing that it, it, it certainly makes me feel like I have to continue to wear this whereas I have lots of other watches that I like to rotate and I like to put on and I haven't done as often since I've owned this which is a real shame but it's definitely something that you should consider if you are thinking of getting one um, 
yeah, so there you go. Now, I'll leave some links below. I'm sure I will be able to find some affiliate links if you choose to use those. It's to no extra cost to you. It just helps to, um, you know, me to make continue to make content like this. I hope it's helped. If it has helped, hey, why not have a look at that little thank you button that we've added down at the bottom there? Thank you, Mr. Morlander. Um, yeah, I leave also leave some of my social media links on here as well, so that you can see from more more from me on social media. But for now, stay safe, stay Morlander, and stay EDC. Photovoltaic uh, membrane, which would you believe it? Massive helicopters flying over. Um, so that's what picks up the sunlight, and this will collect 100, or it will transfer 100, 100% of the sunlight that goes. I'm gonna have to start again. God damn you, mother! I need to tell my, my land people when I'm filming the, you know, mowing one of my acres. They're very good groundskeepers, but sometimes they just need to check with my schedule to make sure that they don't clash. Hopefully you can't hear them. I'll make sure they're flogged later. Boom! <clears throat> I don't flog my staff. No, HR said we should stop that. Hopefully you'll be able to see it has this very, very, very nice screen. I'm, I'm over gilding the lily on all of these very, very and really, really is at the moment. So I will apologize about that. I'll try and cut them down. Um, but the screen on here is very, very, I did it again. Oh, fuck. EDC. I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are in the world. No, there's some nasty things going on in the world. Now, do you know what? That's a good thing to say. That is still a good thing to say. I hope people are well wherever they are in the world. Let's start again.